Now side silk reeling. Obviously we can do these movements in either direction, but they're generally practiced initially as you see them. Notice that there's a very small, slight inclination of the spine here. This is done intentionally. When the hand is moving backwards, you become aware of the little finger and second finger. When the hand is moving forward, it's the thumb and two main fingers on the hand that has the awareness or pung in it. thereby invigorating the connective tissue and nervous system. The little hand is, little finger is really important for being able to feel something easily. If you put your big finger on somebody, they'll flinch. If you put your little finger on them, they're going to relax more. So intercepting a punch or a movement using your little finger as a primary contact point will help to mask the intention of what you're doing in push hands and also at an instinctive level allow the person you're playing with to start relaxing, you know. It's very useful in tactile interactions in every sphere of our life. Again, closing. From here, double handed side silk reeling. And following the hands with the eyes. This is really important so that the entire spine is being turned in this movement. So all of the muscles in the body are getting a nice workout and torsional power is much better than straight line kinetic movement. Notice how he's sinking his hips and waist, really relaxing his legs. You can play with various tempos doing this. You can start off doing it really fast if you're feeling a little bit amped up and gradually slow it down as your concentration improves and your mind becomes calmer. This is high rollback and ward off or ward off and high rollback. From this particular movement, most of our Fajing movements in Chen Tai Chi erupt at pretty much this point or any point. They are to be considered as roots of a tree and the various branches of the various techniques. Silk reeling is the root of our technique and the various forms and various applications are just different branches of it. Without a strong root and trunk, a plant has nothing actually. And Tai Chi without good basics and a strong foundation is also quite good, you know. No, let me correct that. Tai Chi without a strong foundation is useless, you know. Got distracted by the kids downstairs. They got such cute smiles there, you know. Notice how um, the body is, <clears throat> excuse me, alive yet relaxed. Even though it looks like Henry might be tense, it's the chi or pung that's giving him the impression of substantiality. So in practicing Tai Chi, it shouldn't look like shaking a piece of cooked loose spaghetti about, but should be firm and alive, soft and fluid at the same time, embracing yin and yang, substantial and insubstantial all in one movement, allowing it versatility and flexibility and here we have a push and roll back. Practicing these skills and the foundation exercises for a few months before working on forms is always a very good idea because then we don't have to worry about what the knee is doing, where the hand is. Once all of that's taken care of, the student can actually enjoy Tai Chi at a deeper level because you're not thinking about it anymore, you're just feeling it. And feeling what we're doing is really important in Tai Chi. 
It's not an intellectual exercise, it's a sensory experience, which is why feeling your clothing, feeling the wind, feeling your balance, feeling your weight distribution, feeling for tension in the body, tight tendons or tight muscles or any bunching up in the nerves is really important so that we can eradicate that in our practice. Silk reeling is very good for developing a lot of chi or vitality, obviously because the rotation of the spine around the kidneys helps to stimulate adrenaline. At the same time, relaxation from the hands all the way down to the feet relaxes the whole torso, arms, back, buttocks, thighs, knees, calves, shins and ankles. All of these movements can be used as part of a walking form, but because of space constrictions today, we'll just demonstrate these.